it's me, Beanie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. If you're returning, you know you guys are awesome. So today's video is going to be a, a BoxyCharm add-ons video of stuff that I purchased in the BoxyCharm add-ons in February. I know we're in April, but it took a minute for things to come and some of my order, I couldn't even, it couldn't even be fulfilled. Let's just put it that way. Um, I'll talk about that later on in the video. But yeah, so if you guys are interested in what I got in this month's add-ons and my thoughts on the Fenty foundation, then please keep on watching. I got in some shades. One of them were my choice for Lux, and then the other one was part of the add-ons. I'm a little disgusted with the add-ons because I did three separate purchases. Um, one was like some skincare, and then like two or three other shades of the foundation. That was like a hundred bucks right there off the side. Then I placed two other orders, which I got, you know, like the rest of my stuff, which is fine and dandy. I got those two first, which was weird. And then I was waiting on my order. I'm like, okay, well, where is it? Because why would I have the second orders first and or the second and third orders first and not, you know, my first one? Like it just didn't make any sense. So I emailed them, nothing. I messaged them on Instagram. I got one message, replied back to them because they wanted more information, nothing. Messaged them again, nothing. Emailed them again, nothing. So after a while, I got a response from Instagram saying that they could, no, I'm sorry, I got an email saying, don't worry about it, we're processing the order, like, it's gonna, it's gonna come, it's gonna happen. Okay, great. I'm gonna wait for this video, you know, whatever. Then I got a separate message from Instagram saying that they can't fulfill my order and that they're gonna issue me a refund. Okay, you can't issue me the order, but you just sent me an email saying that it was gonna be processed, so like, what's going on? I don't know. So then I got another email saying that they were gonna give me a refund because due to unforeseen circumstances, they couldn't, you know, give me all of my items. So that tells me over-purchased and took people's money when you either ran out of the product and you weren't paying attention to your inventory and the sales going out, like something, Ugh, because I didn't know what shade I was. Now, the shades that I do have are 260 and 250. 260 is this one. This is very neutral for me, um, so it ain't gonna work. So I said, okay, well, that's why I got multiple shades, right? I ordered 260, 250, 240, and 230. Um, so here's 250, tried that. I know this is my, more of my sister shade. Um, I was hoping that I could get away with it. I cannot get away with it. Thank God I fiddled with these and I mixed the two, so we're gonna make this video work we're gonna make it work i don't i don't know it still might not look right it might look wonky i don't know you guys but if it does blame boxy charm because they couldn't fulfill my order and i couldn't get the other two <laughs> shades that i probably would have had a better match in but whatever so i'm going to be using the kat von d uh foundation brush that we got this or last month or whatever by the time this video is posted is really going to be last month um in the march lux slash premium because i don't remember which box i got it in um, I do pre-film, so right now it's spring. Technically, it's still March when I'm filming, but that's okay. All right. I got a puppy, and I'll do a whole other video on that because it's taking up a lot of my time, and I'm really tired, so I'm trying today. I'm trying to get like three or four it videos. Does, done. Uh, feel t it is tapered. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is tapered. You can kind of see the ends, you know, uh, and it's wider towards the bottom or the top, I should say. So I'm going to take these two foundation shades bleh, and I'm going to put them on the back of my hand because I have to do some mixing. So I know I need more of the neutral shade than the uh, warm shade. That's 250, by the way, you guys. I'm going to mix them up and pray for the best. I feel like this brush just ate up this product. <sighs> I don't know. Oh, I don't even have my mirror out. If you hear any barking, that's because my puppy is, is screaming. I'm just going to put whatever's left. He's screaming because my son went to take out um, my other dog, Zeus. And he's like, what about me? I feel like so I'm smelling something. I don't know if it's the brush or if it's the foundation. I feel like it could be the foundation, but I don't remember there being a scent when I tried to see if like I can get it to be matched with me. Good thing is that these shades do oxidize. So, you know, you kind of, well, for me, they oxidize. Anyway. Um, so I have more of a play, you know, being able to mix them. I will say this. I like this brush and I'm digging the foundation the way it applies. I'm not hating it whatsoever. It feels really lightweight and it looks really, really natural on the skin. Like, wow. 
And honestly, I didn't think I was gonna like this brush. And I, I use my Matte and Poreless Primer from Tarte like I typically do. And I did set it down with a powder before applying this foundation. So I don't know if that's helping the way that this is finishing, but I know in certain reviews, it was getting this finish anyway. And I'm not gonna lie, like I'm digging it. Like I don't even wanna put on anything else. I haven't even powdered my face yet. And I'm not hating it. Like, I think I would run out the door like this, legit, if I'm just, like, trying to, like, uh, like, go really quick someplace. But um, I'm going to use this brush to add my concealer, and I'm going to see um, how that works with it. I am using the Tarte Shape Tape in a light medium. I always go lighter underneath my eyes to add brightness because I feel like... You know, it's just dark. I like to look awake. So, huh. Okay. I feel like now I'm at the point I kind of have to tap it out. But I don't, that was a lot easier, I feel, than my Morphe Y6. Okay. Honestly, I'm not hating it. So I'm going to quickly set my face. I'm not going to bake or anything because I want this to be, you know, pretty simple. Um, and so we can get to the rest of just the... Just set my face. And I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it. I did not put any setting uh, setting spray on just yet. I wanted to go ahead and lightly bronze up my face. So I'm going to just quickly finish on my face a little bit. And then we'll come back and talk about the rest of the products and my overall thoughts with the foundation brush. And you guys hopefully you can see a little bit better what the foundation is looking like and how it's sitting on my skin. Um, I did use setting spray. I just used my MAC Fix Plus. But yeah, so this is what my face is looking like. I'm going to tell you guys honest opinions, first impressions. I really like the foundation. Um, I like the fact I'm bummed that I have to mix two shades right now. I'm hoping that once these are gone, I can kind of go into a Sephora and find one bottle that'll actually work. That way I don't have to mix shades because mixing shades can be a pain in the butt. If any of you know that struggle, you know what I'm saying and you know what I mean. And I, I just don't want to be doing that. Honestly, I don't. I don't like it. But yeah, <laughs> I, honestly... I'm not hating it and I feel like it's a really good match for my skin if it, it's not too heavy it's I don't feel cakey I feel like with the amount that I put on even though when I was putting it on my hand it felt like it was a lot I don't know if this brush absorbed most of the product it could be that but I don't feel it you know so that's that's bonus as for the brush I am I'm surprised honestly I didn't think I was gonna like this brush at all um, I do I, I'm kind of torn look okay so really quickly this i don't know if this brush is shedding but i just pulled out like a weird stray hair so i don't know but if if this brush doesn't shed anymore i'm kind of torn between using this brush from now on and my morphe y6 um just because i like the shape of this one better so we'll see we'll see how that goes i don't know so let's get on to the other products that we have in this video so the other products that I bought from the add-ons in February, technically, um, I got a few things. I got like a satin pillowcase set, but I'm not going to show you that because it's just a pillowcase. It's plain pink and it's, you know, it feels nice on my skin and on my face and stuff. Um, but they did have some Foxy Bay brushes, so I went ahead and picked up two different kinds. The first one that I got is the detangling brush. I use their blow dryer brush and their straightener, and I love it. I love that so much. Um, here's what this brush is looking like. Very reflective in the back. You guys can see my camera and all that. Um, I love the rose gold, and then it has this little fox detail right there. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I have a similar brush to that, so I'm assuming that it's going to be gonna be nice i can't wait to use these though, honestly the next one that i got was their paddle brush now my hair is not that thick but on those days where you know i just want to use a big brush here we go so i mean why not again this detailing fox and it's so reflective you can see my camera in the back right there um i like the handle it feels super lightweight super comfortable they do not feel cheap or flimsy got 
some more Glamnetic eyeliner. Um, if you guys don't know, I love Glamnetic lashes and their magnetic eyeliner. So I saw these and these were no way near full price. So I had to grab at least two of them. Then I saw the first Ollie Quench and I really do like this, especially when I am using my Ben Nye Final Seal Spray. Um, I like to try to add as much moisture to the skin as possible and I do like the way that this works for me. So I went ahead and picked that up. And then I also got the Nor... I should have used this today. Why didn't I use this? The No Pore Bloom Primer. Um, I was supposed to use this in this video and I didn't. I don't know why. Um, I have never tried this primer before and it's supposed to smooth skin, pore covering. Okay. I don't know. It's supposed to be good. And I got pores. So, I mean, I'm all about products that, you know, tend to that. Then the um, last two products that I got were some teeth whitening stuff. So the first one that I've actually tried so far is the charcoal teeth whitening powder. Um, I have some clips and stuff. So it's, I don't know if it works just yet. I've only used it about a week. Um, but here's the product and then this is what it looks like. Um, you'll, you'll see me here using it. Um, I've used it, it for this video. To, uh, I recorded it twice and I've used it for about a week right now. Um, I feel like my teeth did get a little bit whiter. I don't know. Let tell me what you guys think. I have a before and then you know, this video technically is my after because I did brush my teeth with this before I started filming. Um, so yeah, this is what my teeth are looking like right now. I don't know. The lighting could be a little different. I tried to keep the lighting the same, but I mean, you guys tell me what you think. I think it's, it's not as whitening as I would like it to be, but, I but like I think it does it feels work because of the powder. I don't like it. Um, yeah, I, I don't like it. I don't like the way it tastes. It says mint on, on the packaging and honestly, it doesn't taste like mint at all. And I just, it's gritty and I don't know. Yeah. So the next item that I got for teeth whitening is this product right here. This is black whitening toothpaste. Um, again, it's supposed to be charcoal infused. This one, it just says activated charcoal. I don't know, but this was an actual toothpaste. I've yet to try it. Um, uh, will this one work better? I don't know, but I mean, everything is sealed and I mean, if this one works, I'm assuming this one will too. I just don't know by how much. All I know is, is that it's been about a week and my teeth look a little whiter to me. Let me know what you guys think about my teeth in uh, the comments below. Like, do you feel like they are whiter than the, uh, before picture? Yeah, so this is what my teeth are looking like again. This is then. I see. Maybe maybe I'll kind of put a frame up. So let's see. Do I look stupid? <laughs> yeah, so that wraps up this video, you guys. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know your opinions on the toothpaste whitening powder that I have. And um, if you guys, ooh, look, I'm already getting creases. Ooh, I don't know. Fancy, you'd be letting me down. Don't let me down. I hope this video, you guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on how well this product worked. Again, here are my teeth right now. And if you guys have not already, make sure you sting my subscribe button. Come join my little beehive here with me. Help me pollinate my videos on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, or wherever else you guys can think of pollinating my videos. And I will hopefully catch you in my next one. Oh, before I leave, you guys, I have a giveaway going on. I will have the video linked up here so if you guys did not enter the giveaway, go ahead and check that video out. And it has all the details. It is US based only. So make sure you guys enter in that uh, giveaway and good luck to the future winner. So yeah.